So we just bought this car from California and shipped it in. Uh, it's a full restoration car. Uh, again, it's a 1964 coupe. Beautiful stance to this car. What do you think? Oh, I think it's, I think it's great. Now, now I'm kind of a layman at the Carmen Ghia, still learning, yeah. right? You're teaching me a lot. What really is the difference of a front end of the different years? So that the, really kind of like jumps out and go, oh, that's a, that's a 64, that's a 65. Most of the big differences actually were in the back of the car with okay. the tail lights. Um, the front shape of the, of the lenses in the early 50s, they had the low light headlights that were actually a little bit low. The, uh, the lights sat a little bit lower. It had a different look to it. The 60s style headlights look very similar to what they had in the 70s. One of the big differences in the front is the bumpers. Uh, these are actually aftermarket bumpers, um, but uh, the bumpers from the later 70s were not quite as ornate. And uh, But this particular car, it's, it's, it has a few little neat uh, different finishes on it than, than an original 64 would have. The bumpers have been powder coated and painted black. They would originally have been chrome. Uh, this is definitely not an original color, but it's beautiful. It's, it's a uh, kind of a a beautiful, beautiful, bright orange metallic paint job on this thing. It's got the empty, empty wheels on it. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a customized car, but there, it's not over the top, I don't think. No, I think it's great. Now, do, have you done any work to the, uh, to the um, wheels or, or anything like that? Uh, came like this when you bought it? So we or? bought the car, and every, all the, the restoration work was already completely done on it it's road ready it's got new suspension interiors brand new steering wheel everything about this it's got uh some aftermarket headlights in it um the windshield on this car is brand new and one of the things that you'll notice is on the the chrome or excuse me the uh the gasket that seals the windshield normally on the original car would have been it had a chrome trim piece in it that's been removed from this car they're known for having leaking issues and obviously uh, some of the replacements would would have had a rubber seal just just to block it in there and then uh, um, a brand new windshield in and it ties in well with the black bumpers and it, it, it's and the black wheels on the car um, I, re I really didn't know that you could customize a Carmen Ghia mm -hmm. as much as you really can yes I've seen a lot of photographs I mean this is an incredible car I've seen I've seen a lot of them that are lowered now this one's been lowered it's just really well done yes right yes um we're really really lucky to have it and just just wanted to show it off a little bit today what are some of the areas that that the carmen Ghia has had issues with before mm -hmm. that people should know about now i know you've told me before you know check out the inside yes where you know i, I guess a lot of these have been in accidents and they so try to like pound them out th there's no pieces that you can just pop off on these cars they're all metal and they're all basically one piece in, in in most parts of the car so when they would be hit in the front there would be major damage to the front nose uh, that would be very obvious uh, if you open the, the front trunk and you look where the spare tire would go a few other points uh, on the inside of the uh, wheel wells you'll always have uh, on many of them uh, from from northern cold climates or, or salt based climates you'll have major rusting in those areas this car you look in there I don't see any it, yeah it's all metal it's all brand new I mean there's yeah there's definitely been put new pieces put in there the floor pans everybody um, on old Volkswagens the floor pans are something that many people ask about and we the pans on this are have been replaced and are beautiful i mean they're really well done uh we'll have some photographs of that obviously uh for for the video as well but um so i've noticed on this card and made this a little different but this is all one unit one right so you can't take off a, a, a fender correct correct it's all one piece i mean this whole section and it, it it's it, it creates that beautiful look to the car yeah, though. right you know the the lines on this car are so beautiful because they it, it it's literally sculpted the entire piece is all basically one section so um when was this restored i don't have the exact dates on the restoration on this car um i we bought this car from california as i mentioned um 
based on the condition of the restoration uh, within the last five years, I can't say for certain exactly when it mm-hmm. was done, but um, our mechanic is going to run through it and, and make sure and give us additional information about brakes and all those things. But from our inspection so far, quite literally every every mechanical piece on this car has been totally redone. Right. Uh, and it's not like it was like an early or late to early 2000s or late 90s restoration. This look, looks to me like a, a fairly fresh build. So for a novice who's going to, let's say they find a Carmen Ghia, what is what are some of the things that they should be looking at before buying one? Mm-hmm. Where, you know, you can run up a lot of money real quick. Absolutely. Trying to restore something that you just might not be f- that familiar with. Yes. They're great looking cars. But what are some of the areas that, that you, know, you would definitely be... Uh, certainly the pans, certainly the the major... F- I mean, you can order replacement parts for many parts of this car, but you're going to be cutting metal and welding pieces in. As I mentioned, the nose, the floors, the battery compartment, the rocker panels. That's another one that we get you know questions about a lot. The rocker panels on these were were known to get moisture collecting in them and rusting out completely and you'll have bubbling and all sorts of issues but uh, you've really got to be careful with these um, for those reasons because it's 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 generally there's so much metal and there's so few pieces that you got to do major surgery to to cut these things apart and and put them back together the right way. And it could take years. Absolutely. Right? I mean long time it's almost like a I know it's like a cockroach. You see one, you know you have hundreds. Yeah. Kind of like with rust. Yeah. You find a little bit. Yeah. You have yeah. to keep digging to get it out, right? Exactly. It's, no, it's um, it all cost money. This is this is really a beautiful uh, example of this year for this Carmen Ghia. For sure. Now that we've got the car opened up, we're going to show you the interior of this, this beautiful restoration. I mean, it's, it's, it's really spectacular. It's got new, new door panels, new kick plate, new seats that are actually aftermarket seats, uh, scat shifter. It's got an aftermarket radio system in it. It's got the, the voltmeter on the, for, the, for the battery, the oil temp gauge. Uh, headliners brand new. Don't you think this all ties in pretty well? And I think with the color scheme, that great orange is throughout the car. You know, it's not a different uh, dash pad or anything like that. It, it, they, they did a really nice job matching up the colors. So, yep, yep, great. Looks like a great stereo system in here too. Yeah, <laughs> yep, nice, nice speaker system in here. Yep. So the rear seats on this car really tie in nicely with with the. You've got the black and the gray, uh, two tone in the back with the headliner that matches it all. The orange, gray, and black tie together really nicely. Yep, yep, real nice. No, this is beautiful. They did a great job. Batteries underneath the back seat? Yes. Yep. That's okay. a spot that always is notorious for rusting out on these cars, and on this particular car, it's, it's beautiful in there. Now that we've got this front trunk opened up, we just wanted to show off, I mean, this complete restoration up here, brand new gas tank, um, all the metal up, there's a coating on all the metal up here and it's, but it's really beautiful. It's not, I don't, it's not hiding anything. It's very clean and tidy in here. What, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you have the new tank. Yeah. Everything's brand new. We got a great sign on the inside. Yep. Been coated. I don't see any kind of front end damage at all. No. Or it's been, completely modified or, or now what is is that a pump down at the bottom here at this the, is the uh, wa- washer fluid bottle okay. uh, container usually there's a seal on it and the spare tire sits in here and it pumps that we didn't this does not have a spare tire with it because the tires are aftermarket and they're a little bit big to fit in here okay all the lines in here it's got a new fuel line it's got the this is your this is the cable that measures your fuel fuel gauge um, all the everything in here is all it's got some fire suppressant um, in here it's it's all very well done and clean and tidy (music) 
now that we've got the engine compartment opened up, just look at this thing. I mean, it's it's really beautiful. It's a <laughs> this is not a stock motor. No, um, no. It's they they came with a 1200 cc um, 40 horse motor. This is a dual carbureted. I believe it's a 21 or a 2300 cc. I don't have the exact specs on the motor from the person we bought it from, but I can assure you that it runs and drives really well. Yeah. Um, all new parts in here. Belt is looks everything looks clean. This car gate probably has the most chrome I've ever seen so far on, yeah. on, on in the engine. Yeah, it, it's really is sharp and clean and nice. Very tidy in here as yeah. well. It's got the shocks to open and close the the hood, which or the trunk, which many of the uh, these cars obviously did not have. But uh, it, it cleans it up in here. It makes it makes it really nice. Thanks again for checking out today's video. If you have any questions about these cars, please drop them in the comment section. We'll be glad to go through them with you. Also subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and our, our, our website, centralclassiccars.com. This is John Mahalik signing off.